its pub, closed for business. Half the district marked off as dead from the plague. We're right under the Lord Regent's nose, and he don't know a thing. Of course, if anyone finds out what we're up to, the watch will break in with swords drawn. And now that you've escaped, the Lord Regent's going to be tearing the city apart. Take you up to meet Admiral Havelock and the rest of the Loyalists. The Admiral's a man to be reckoned with. If anyone can help you find that missing girl, Lady Emily, and clear your name, he can. Yeah, I'm not gonna read every single of those. I don't really want to be annoying. After all, it's light commentary. Even after six months in Cold Ridge Prison, he slipped out like it was nothing. Yes, not surprising. He was the personal bodyguard of the Empress. You've heard the stories. Yeah. We can continue this later, Lord Pendleton. The man of the hour is here. Corvo, I'm Admiral Havelock. A true servant of the Empire, like you. Until the Lord Regent purged those of us who wouldn't recognize his claim on the throne. And I'm Lord Trevor Pendleton. I represent the nobility in our little group. But we all act as equals here at the Hound Pits pub. This is a momentous occasion, Corvo. I'm going to come out with you. We've been building a coalition of loyalists aimed at ending the Lord Regent's tyranny and restoring the throne. At risk of execution, we're committed to finding young Lady Emily and seeing her crowned as Empress. We've got big plans, but we can't do any of it without you. We need your skills, your ability in a fight, and in helping us, we're going to help you destroy the men who murdered the Empress. Sorry, you must be exhausted. We can discuss this further after you've recovered, but before you retire, you should introduce yourself to Piero. He's challenging at times, but his industrious mind buys him that right. Yes, Piero's as much an artist as a technician. He's going to be crafting the gear you'll need. Go talk to him, and then get some sleep. We can talk more when you've rested. I'll be crafting your weapons and gear. All custom work for you, I will create the tools of the master assassin. No! This cannot happen now. The tank of whale oil is running. Will you get a new tank from upstairs, please, while I hold this in place? Be careful. The oil's unstable. When it explodes, there's a terrible mess. You can always pause video and read that if you're interested in that, of course. Perfect. Now plug it in. Just get it near the receptor. Magnetism will do the rest. Perfect. Thank you, Cole. Here, see? The assassin's mask. You're a wanted man, so everyone in the city knows your face. But this mask... If you just hold still, fit must be precise. There. Can you see normally? See the lens out of alignment. There. Better Not now? really. I could create more for you. Upgrades for your gear, weapons, munitions. But our situation here is desperate. Scavenge the city for valuables, and I will resell them on the black market. That should give us the money to craft the things you need. Tell me what I can make for you. Aha. Uh -huh. This should be handy. Let's see, crossbow bolt, slip bolt, bullets, spring razor. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that good. Grenades and rewire tool. Allows you to rewire 
transcription. Okay, I see. Although we haven't upgrades, crossbow accuracy, lower dispersion, and stabilize crossbow aim. Well, that should be handy. That one as well. Should probably get more of those. You must be exhausted. I advise that you get some sleep. Your life will get even more difficult soon. You should rest while you can. Sleep well. I will rarely use gun actually. At least I will try to do that. What the... Okay, this doesn't seem so right. It's probably a dream. It's always a dream. Hello, Corvo. Your life has taken a turn, has it not? The Empress is dead. Her precious daughter Emily is lost somewhere in the city. And you will play a pivotal role in the days to come. For this, I have chosen you, and drawn you into the void. I am the outsider, and this is my mark. There are forces in the world and beyond the world. Great forces that we call magic. And now, these forces will serve your will. Use this newfound power. My gift to you. Come find me. Fast and stealthy forward dash. Well, I'm gonna call that blink. You cannot save her, you cannot save her. Those are like memories or... Just blink to climb and the power the edge of a roof. Should be like that? Yes. In the days that follow. Your trials will be great, Corvo. Seek the ancient runes bearing my mark in the lonely places of your world, and at shrines raised in my name. These runes will grant you powers beyond those of other men. To help you find these runes, I give you this, the heart of a living thing, molded by my hands. With this heart, you will hear many secrets, and it will guide you toward my runes, no matter how they may be hidden. Listen to the heart now, and find another rune. Okay, let's try this.
This place is the end of all things and the beginning. All of time is meaningless here. Neither seconds nor centuries. Someday this place will devour all the lights in the sky. The one who walks here is all things. Cradle songs of comfort and bones marred by teeth. This is the place from which those who dabble in the black arts draw their power. And this place is their doom. Ah, so we can make an exchange for some powers, which is really nice. Dark vision, possession, slow time for a short duration, summons a swarm of rods. Oh, that should be handy. Powerful wind that can push back and knock down enemies and shatter doors. Shadow kill. Yeah, we don't we don't have enough runes for that, so we can choose between dark vision and vitality. I'm gonna go with that one since we can watch actually see through walls. That should be handy. How you use what I have given you falls upon you as it has to the others before you. Now I return you to your world, but know that I will be watching with great interest. Aha, uh -huh, so we have that sign. It wasn't just a dream. Yeah, we, ho we have those, those abilities, so... Nice. Should I clear space for Samuel then? If you like. This is probably some hidden area. He can't sleep in regular beds anymore. Well, that's what he says. Says he was in the Navy too long. Can you believe it? Oh. That pile of wood out there? It's a hovel he built from an old rowboat. Where does Admiral Havelock find these people, I wonder? Okay, so we need to go one floor down. Well, let's get down to it. First off, I know that assassination is dark business, but sometimes good men have to do bad things to make the world right. Our purpose is clear. We want to restore Her Majesty's line by finding and putting Emily Caldwin on the throne. To those ends, we'll hide, act in shadow, take them apart, piece by piece. Tonight, High Overseer Campbell dies by your hand. It won't be easy. He's protected by his overseers, an army of religious zealots. But if anyone can do it, you can. Your exploits are legendary. Campbell carries a private journal. Once you've eliminated him, get the journal, because we think it contains Emily's location. Recovering her is obviously critical, assuming she's alive. That's the gist of it. Remember our cause and strike true. We're counting on you. Okay, that will be the plan. Campbell is holding a former overseer by the name of Martin. He's one of us. And if you manage to find him, give him whatever help you can. He's a master strategist, and he got caught working for our cause. It'd be good to have him back here at the Hound Pits. Oh, Cor Corvo. Hello. I'm Callista. I work here for Admiral Havelock. I'm sorry to intrude on your business, but this is important. I suspect you're going to kill the High Overseer, that wretched man. There's really no reason for you to listen to me, but my uncle, 
Jeff Kernow still serves as captain in the City Watch. But he's a good man, and my only family. The chatter in servant circles is that Campbell just took delivery of an exotic poison. And I think I know why. My uncle's not corruptible like the rest of them. Campbell is going to poison my uncle. Do you think you could protect him? You used to do that, right? Before you had your current profession. Before you became an assassin. Well, I could try that if you find him. Those are already two men to save and one to kill. Just wondering, sir, if you thought about perhaps seeing Piero before venturing into the Overseer's Nest. I'd recommend going with the best gear you can get together. Well, that is a good advice, and since we are actually at the end of this part, we are gonna split up. When so, you set out, just yeah, give the word. short break here, guys. Uh, we are going back soon. Hopefully, enjoy.